Hey, yo. Real quick, while we got a chance, I want to discuss this real quick. It's January the 3rd, 2017. Very recently, I believe over in Florida or Miami, uh, the, the customs got shut down. Uh, the system for customs at the airports and stuff, uh, they got shut down for some reason and it caused a little bit of chaos and mayhem. People were pretty upset about it. Uh, a whole bunch of not knowing what's going on was happening over uh, with the custom system. All right. And I find that that's going to be very significant. All right. Uh, and uh, this was brought to my attention by Paul Bagley. I left a uh, link to his video down there and he discusses a whole bunch of different things that might not be good. Might not be good for us, All right? But here's what I want to explain very simply because I have a weird feeling about this particular event, All right? You already understand that you have a President Obama accusing Russia of meddling around in our election process, and that's the only reason why Donald Trump won. That's the only reason, according to President Barack Obama, All right? And then you might have heard where over there in like Vermont or Connecticut or some fucking place, uh, there was like some sort of threat um, to their power grid. And it was implied over many different sources that maybe Russia <laughs> went ahead and hacked the power grid over there. All right, so take that in a little bit. I'm already telling you right now, it's also going to be implied that maybe Russia had something to do with our U.S. customs system going down for a while, causing chaos, All right? In fact, I went and I looked it up on Google uh, to see if anybody was saying this. I only saw one uh, article, and it was a, a local thing. I left a link to that down there below as well. Only one article implying that maybe Russia had something to do with it. And meanwhile, uh, that particular website was trying to get the attention of all the mainstream websites, trying to kind of like see if they couldn't get paid real quick. All right. Uh, so nobody's really implying it yet. I got a feeling that people are going to start implying it soon, that Russia might have had something to do with the U.S. custom system letting who knows who in over this period of chaos. Uh, here's the thing. This channel is for keeping it simple. Very, very simple. I know that you can complicate things in all sorts of ways if you want. But, okay, let's imagine a fantasy scenario where Russia is the only reason why Donald Trump is a president. It's not because he conquered America and conquered the television. It's not because of that. It's because Russia somehow for some secretive nefarious reason was Donald Trump as the president and they're not telling us why. Meanwhile, Donald Trump and Putin are talking about, you know, maybe we could all just get along with each other and that'd be all right. But anyways, what if there was a secretive nefarious reason that Russia wanted Donald Trump in president and not Hillary Clinton and they went ahead and messed up the election and what if is this fantasy scenario russia's the only one who uh participated in fraud throughout this election all right so they want donald trump to be the president all right because that's why they did that well if that was the case and they hacked us all up and, and made donald trump the president if that is the case then what they would do is lay low right now. They would wait until Donald Trump is the president. And then they would do whatever hacking or whatever that they plan to do. It wouldn't make any sense at all in any way, in any sort of way, to try and mess with our power grid right now. It wouldn't make sense. They would simply hold their horses, if you will, and not do anything until Donald Trump... Is the president which that was their stated goal? That is if we were living in a fantasy land where 
even the slightest bit of logic still existed. But instead, we're in this real world where Obama keeps talking about, oh, Russia did this, Russia did that. Oh, I'm going to be petty and shut down their little, uh, you know, embassies or whatever that we got here. And it's all completely straight up and down, left and right, all around retarded. It really, really, really is. And that's, that's what's keeping it simple. Retarded. It is full of retardation. Our president is full of retardation. I mean, either that or just bursting with hate for America. He's setting a fire. He's setting fires all over the place. Meanwhile, you got very smart people all running around. Usually they have dark skin talking about he's doing a terrific job. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you he's doing a terrific job. Uh, when he's not golfing and shit. Anyways, this is January the 3rd. 2017. And even the slightest bit of logic cannot be applied to what is taking place right now uh, with our foreign policy. Uh, I'll holler at y'all.